Right, we got foot on defense. We got EDG on attack. We got no raid boss. We got a um, frenzy coming out. Yeah, this is probably the first time. The big one is an EDG under tremendous a lot of pressure. It's got their uh, it's got their no info initiator comp down. They use the cipher. Pretty much is their info. Have success recently. Yeah, it's good. They want a taste of that themselves again. Foot was stacking up over towards C at the start of this pistol. They round, started off pretty questionable like on this map, and they they got it uh, they got it refined. Both teams playing they a that. Gonna have to be a straight up retake. No one's seen the camera yet. Just in case is here, Simon's gonna go for that plan. Got we'll retake camera. Got well. kill trip as well. No one's hit the kill the kill trip. Well for backside five with Kang Kang already in that spot and position. EDG love to get aggressive on these Lotus post plants. See if they can't even clear in the one way fault line and the paranoia right clicks a bit of panic settling in. Chichu trying to cover it just over the shoulder as well. Kang Kang still alive, it's off to the side here, making sure that he can hold this one back. But oh, already Mr. Fallon handled this pretty well. And swarmed by the foot players with that front side control. And they've taken out Yo, coming in, still smoky. alive. Last one to be alive here, and crack sticking out the fuse. Damn, no that is solid. Heal keeps him alive. That's some clove player. impact right there. This EDG team needed. Did one v two, great. Right? Maybe one v three. He got enough chip damage. Yeah, that, that was lovely from him, though, really. Things. Both of those players super weak. Uh, well, Dovin with the eight months. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the tier one. Nice Red Bull clutch. That Thank you for doing that. Early on, like you said, very needed. Other than that. Their post plan aggression didn't really work. It looked like Foot's coordination on the retake was working as well. EDG needed someone to come up. And we'll keep an eye on the pistols. On nil. I mean, just nice, nice spots from him. Smoggy was the man for the job. I'll tell you in general. Foot love contacting around places. It's not a high utility composition that they're running here. You don't have the raise. You don't have the fade. You just got a breach. Yeah. And they normally save that utility for like big retakes or big executes, depending on what side they're on. So there's going to be a lot of raw gunfights happening. He needs God to expect and this angle. And you have that kind of clash between teams like okay, this. now they know that they pushed all the way over towards C, important. so they should. Whether the especially EG against an eco, go back and feeling it today and can access their full potential. Russia. And in terms of the peaks that we've seen, players in this server have just put on absolute god mode tournaments occasionally. We'll see if those individuals are firing off. EDG are making this one. It's quite cautious at the beginning into this eco round. Of course, they don't want to give any way any lives unnecessarily. Senior gets at least two chances there to potentially rip off some heads, but he's back at the site here and with only the sheriff in hand. Be too much danger. Yeah, he's cleaned up. So he's done. For that. Plan at this point here. They're allowed. Um, well. I mean, we've already kind of briefly mentioned one how unorthodox these compositions are. Uh, these teams, you know, Foot and EDG, they haven't played it in their region. It's not like we've seen this for the first time. No, but we haven't seen them clash against each other. Yeah. Uh, EDG's comp, in my opinion, is really attack sided. It's crazy attack sided. And then when EDG go into defense, they try to save up, get an operator into Kang Kang's hand, and they're like, would you mind winning us a few rounds <laughs> with the op? Uh, because the actual compositional setups are not that great on the defense. So I'm expecting EDG here to run up the score line at least to a comfortable level for them. And if they don't, they might be in a bit of trouble. That's the depth of their allowance. Yeah, the Jade is going to be going down to the spike here. So, number one followed up by EDG, putting that second round on the board. I also think it's really remarkable that, I mean, maybe it's not remarkable because they've got G2 and Paper X in their group, but the community had both of these teams as like 25 percenters, third and fourth in the group. Only 25 percent of people thought that they were going to exit the group, basically. Right. For both of these teams. Um, I think this group could be rife for upsets. Paper X is waiting. Whoever loses this, I don't think Paper X has an enormous edge over either of these two teams. Yeah, I agree with that. But neither of them are going to want to be in that position. Yeah, looking to grab a win nice and early in okay, the Yeah, what's the big buy round? For, for, for EDG. Bonus is yeah, looking decent. EDG got three Bulldogs. Omen flash in, stun. Give some access to that Damage as well. Control. Okay, so. Might be looking to Heavy over We're towards A, the they make sure that Cena can pick up the orb as well, try and get that all out nice and early, and this guy's dead, J. right? Barely alive, but a stun still what? applying, and he's able to trade no off way. these kills. Kill trip played off of this guy. He's electric right now. Yellow I mean, he J. was stunned up. He's Angry done an absolute player. madness there, getting the first kill, and that's enabled him to get the trade and then the kill off the trip. 
Looking their wounds, I think, looking for options and ways back into this round. Already I can tell that Foot have been watching the VODs. That aftershock comes out from Simon every time, and Yeraji made sure his trips did not get broken by it. That was massive. And now Foot just hold. Oh, waiting oh for my. It. Signs of life contact. The head's just peeking up and over. Ripped clean. Yeah, that was a, that was a convincing Such first buy round. That was very so nice. So important for Foot to showcase early on. It in all this came down to that first kill, though. That they can hold on to a site when there's only one player and you know a flood coming through. It was just Yedaje there. Ada Captain comes to try to reinforce. That's... To be honest, Kang Kang should probably be favoured in that kind of situation. Oh, but no Yedaje doubt about hit, it. I guess the stun is cosmetic. <laughs> Uh, E-commerce as well, yeah, thank you for the two months. Are, because Simon's aftershock is I appreciate the tier one. Break those trips. Believe in the co in the clove? Um, I think like a Viper's probably teams, better in most of the situations, but again, you can play pretty gambly. It's not like it would be the reason the they lost. Be made that much more easier here for EDG. I think it's going to be a mistake for Foot to opt into these rubble fights. EDG's composition is much better in those spots. Yeah. Like we were already talking about, I mean, the utility that Foot have to work with, it's pretty low. In terms of if you're trying to go, you know, pound for pound against this composition that EDG have, you know, the double initiator, the duelist. Neon stuns are just brutal for trying to find that one. Going to insert one over towards A and go back to C here. here by Foot. Does yesterday go to aggro because he's about to... Oh, he's got a good idea. Very good idea, just sees the jiggle as well, but already gives it up, doesn't he? Spoiler. And already stun on stun. Forwards, Kang -Kang. How, how is this guy doing this? Sucking, weaving, how is he doing? Only with the two before the trade comes through. Still incredible. Nice trade from EDG though. Chances and opportunities, but they want to make their way back over towards A now. EDG, Chichu didn't give up that position earlier, so just holding on to that A control for most of the round gives them that option. It's a nice call. Coming back over to Chichu, who is inserted there, Mr. Falling. Might have an opportunity. Oh, I shut down. The timing yeah, from this from Chichu is good. Just did double smokes, gun out. Should secure the round up. We'll have to be keeping an eye on these kind of mid round Rax calls. Rax kind of needs to keep the EG. gun. As we can see, he's the only like person who can't bind us. Things are extremely hectic in the EDG camp, especially since they've decided to bench Haodong, put him into the sixth man assisted coach kind of vibe, uh, and bring nobody in to make a lot of the calls for them. Max is trying to make a guard here, so I don't really understand the logic behind it. Probably needs his weapon. Yeah, he really does. He's got no money to buy another one. The rest of his team does, so he's going to get out of there. They're not going to get punished. I like this from Chi Chi. to make that attempt. Uh, but you're right, you know, EDG... You did this pretty early. There's been even comments from the Sars, you know, I was talking about Yinsu ahead of this match as well, just trying to get that extra information. Um, heading into it about EDG, but you know, even Kang Kang was talking about how they, they get chaotic in the mid-round sometimes. They lose track of, you know, what decisions they should be making. Frankly, it's a little bit messy. That doesn't, that doesn't surprise me whatsoever when you put a player who's known for his unorthodox plays and strange read on the game and feast or famine play style and you put him in, into an IGL position. Uh, but Shadows it feels like Edward Gaming are just trying to figure out what their, what their mentality is, what their ethos is, their style of play. All right. See, Ned's going to pick up an operator. Go to look for an... <laughs> Now we get into the big rounds. Got to imagine. Got to I'm buying after this one. Even EDG, yeah. like I these two. Boatloads of it, but okay. Unscoped as well. That is so damn dangerous. Near sighted just by the Prowler. Was not broken up by Yedige. It gives it full sight. Oh my. Over towards the C mound angle. Door's going to be an open tier. Not even contested, at least with that nightfall. Scatters his way across. There's no follow up though with the wall. Uh, dude, he doesn't even give them. Oh my yeah. god, look at Plenty the Uto uh, Uto dump here. It didn't give Cena a chance to even get a kill. That's the first time he's seen anyone. Twice though. Yeah, he hit Smoggy though on 24 it, through the wall. He's not quite grasping any of them. Damage done to Smoggy. Not quite the kill he was looking for though. So that's the blade. This was great from EDG. They had no chance. He's definitely making a decent go of it. Teams grouped up now. Like they gave foot no chance to even get anything control. on this. Aim to be held, Kang Kang to not fangle. Just down onto the ramp as well, but he needs to land it. Shot down with the rest really of the team. Really solid, man. It's led just firing through and follows through with the kills. Beautiful work by EDG. Very, very, very cool. nicely done there. EDG, when I was watching them in China on this map, they loved 
fighting aggressively in the post. Looks super good. Yeah, they look really good here. Just as soon as they, they find Cena, they, they just overwhelm instantly. No they hesitation. Util's good. Nothing is out of place. No one overstep. Incredible. Look at that. Look at those kills. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, I don't want to be hugging the walls anymore after that. This is putting EDG well ahead now. Right there. Yeah, ults are starting to get generated already. See the rolling thunder. Simon holding on to it. And the captain's the only one to hold back this A approach. It's a weaker buy by foot. Yeah, the, the attack side operator is now coming out as well. Kang Kang picking that up. Yeah, and they can do these pushes, they but... They to play a lot slower when Kang Kang is... Well, no info sentinel. Foot just trying to abuse the fact that there's no sentinel on the side of EDG, but Smoggy will happily fulfill that role. Even just with the raw oh my gunfire. God, I mean, bro. listen, there's always danger. Yeah, crispy on this as well, looking players, crazy clean. It, but I like the idea of the the clove being the person that, that watches hands, behind because then you can still nice have the smoke to create a big you know, amount of pressure as well. Online, yeah. can go really deep the, the, the overall it. way of playing this comp well. is pretty Balls good so far. It's, it's oh, maybe... What? Oh, cracks! He's given it the lifeline and a chance and opportunity that it's just opened pride. Wide open, five health though to his name. It's a 1v1, isolated down in the blink of an eye. Expecting already the cross up from Smoky. Oh my goodness. My How did he God, manage to get that get so dangerous. close? There's just a taster of what this match might end up devolving into. This is man, I that? said it could get dangerous and it got the sheriffs in their hands. It's absolutely bonkers what these players are able to do with light weaponry. I mean, he's on 5 HP the labor, whole time. Onto nobody and onto Simon. Oh, and my God. God. Oh. He's so clean. If Ada Captain hadn't leapt face first into the aftershock there, they actually could have had a 2v1. <laughs> he secured the round. Yeah, at least they're laughing Smart it off as well. No, he's, uh, he's well, three, taking yeah. stride. No worries, guys. But are going to take attack time out here. This side is going to be very difficult for them. I really do believe that EDG's composition is massively attack-sided. And when they have ults online like Cloval, Breach, Alt, it's just going to be so difficult to hold them back. I think Foot should be aiming to put a little bit of pressure early and then fight a kind of rolling retreat as they back up and then play retake onto the sites yeah. with their own breach hole. It's really important though that the you coach, yeah, the coach EDG goes for it. early on because you want to drain to say every single time in the timeouts. You want to make them use the breach hole. You don't want to give away that you're just playing the setups. Then. Otherwise they're just going to walk in and they're going to for post plan. Yeah. So I would like to see we can see that CNET is picking up low HP. Like yeah, you probably should but... try and take an aggressive angle. You know, maybe over towards C. Uh, maybe even fighting from the kind of A site kind of area, but something that forces out that breach ult so that then his team can play retake. It's just so important that he at least creates a good amount of ult. Yeah, that's a difficult. Hey, this is the first time that they're going to well. try over towards B. We've got CNED opping B, and we've got double time, info on the sides. This is a definitely a good play. He is about to get wrecked again. Already being just accosted off onto the corner. Stun already connecting. Cena just, just trying to get the hell out Look of there. Look at that yeah, tunnel vision from Kang Kang, though. He's hunting him like down, bro. Just, wow, that rolling retreat. They're just backing away now. The rolling thunder of itself cracks. Oh, my. Let's Double. It loose, let's it rip now. Everybody pushed up back into the corner, but cosmetic stuns is the nature of this game sometimes. Smoggy, How do they want to play this? Yet. Back into the fight, but falling from the side, instantly traded once more. They got, they got trip up here. EDG, Gives them info that they're pivoting and they still don't know where one is. Side, fast onto it, but or if it dies over towards well, sites, it can kind of smoke this off the majority of the time. Is lucky to be alive. Spike Bit of calm for once in the middle of the round, but Here. sure to play this one together. Holding just in case. Flank possibilities, but a contact peak doubled up. Not quite ready for it. Seen it again, missing the shot. This is ah. many opportunities now that he has missed. Two v three. Not, he's EDG. been having chances to get Smoking kills. Face. Chi -Chi could cross this one up as well. And for foot, the pressure's on them to try and push past this one without a captain low. Haunt not seeing too much. Jumping peak, swing is there. Yet Jay finally, but Chi Chu contains one v one and a tap. Issue is forced, Chichu though. Ice cold. Yeah, time's done. Backs away. No one yet. Jay is not playing towards this one. And it's a one. I see. Done from EDG. A keep. Beautiful. Keep winning up these rounds, especially. In, I mean, this is back to back. One, technically. 
immaculately played clutch there by Jishu. He yeah, really they, they both played this really well. All of the info knew exactly I mean, they had double smokes. Or, just be tapping on that first they, they had perma smoke stairs and they had smoke left to sight. Hey, look at this guy. He doesn't, he doesn't have to worry about it anywhere. Form of the players and seeing which team's sharp. There were so many spots in that where there was missed opportunities. Cena probably should have died way earlier on if we're going to look at who had more chances to kill each other. But really, really cool. This Both value? Yeah, for onwards. sure. Because you don't have to worry about here. Like, he can go into this Relentless. angle and then someone's, someone's just going to run into him no matter what. Granted to EDG. They're giving up that front section of A. Once more, it looks like a bait and switch setup where CNED's designed to take contact, dash back out, and then play in at a captain and Yedaj. Very similar to what he did. Low on eco, B. they take a lot of map control, bro. This They're looking time, great on attack here. Hong Kong's not even in the right area of the map to take that carrot on a stick. Poison carrot on a stick, I suppose it would yeah. be at that point. Smoggy's task would just hold him down on the flank here. Shadows. Oh, and cracks, not too much in terms of the weaponry that they're holding on to. Trip broken. Prowler out too. Just trying to fade out the potential of that trap play. Gliding and sliding. Whoa. Kang Kang. Listen, he's not going to take it. No way. He wants this sight. All the way round. That was sick. Brilliant way of using the neon movement there against the eco round. It's so difficult to hear Sheriff shots when the Neon's running at your yeah, face. Neon oh, yeah, Neon against Sheriff's is insanely around on the floor. strong. Smoggy just catching that contact on the players as well. It's a little bit disjointed here from the foot attempt. It's not going to be able to get this one over the line here. For now, EDG are Nicely in. done from EDG. They made that very hard for the, uh, for the Sheriff's to hit anything. Up. Talking about the pressure that they had, I think. It's coming off the back of that Shanghai performance. Obviously, the expectation is going to be much heavier, I think, when it's in their home region playing that tournament. A few weeks back. But they bomb. They did bomb out. I mean, yeah, they didn't even have one of their, oh, they look good, but then they don't make it. Yeah, it was, just, it was completely flat. It was extremely flat. And the Chinese fans wanted more, demanded more, and made their voices very heard. And so you got to expect that was one of the reasons why EDG ended up making changes. Ned tries to get value again. And this time will succeed. Pluck Smoggy out of the picture. Yeah, nice it's one of the first times he actually gets the first kill, though. Simon there as well. Yeah. Look at the health, 15. And Instant reposition, might have another one here. But that is exactly what Foot were looking for, honestly. The first kills have not really been going their way. Prowler again in the face, with the op shot fired off. They now know exactly where Cned is. Kang Kang support up, chewed up. At least by the trap, fall in, in a bit of danger. The paranoia is good, though, with that connection after shot. He's going to be dodged. He needs some help from the rest of his team, and the overdrive is just swatted away. Kang Kang does not stand a chance, but Simon Quick yeah, on the next I mean, approach. they should be so fine with this retake, as long as no one down. oversteps. Patience has to be played now, because it's still it a is. two versus... Chichu should just be trying to... Well, obviously he's trying to win, but let's see how much taken. damage he can do. Any chance of them winning this. Pre-fires onto the corner. Two players into the pit, just holding it. Chichu... Trying to take that Whoa. one. That adjustment flicked to the side. What an Jack absolute shot that was. Rest. Simon, 15 health left, tagged up by the cam. Not long for this world, and so foot. Bro, that was a sick shot. Finally going to be able to get another one on the board up to that second round. And that's a massively important one for foot. They're very, very good on Lotus, so don't get too worried about them just yet. But if they end up going down 8 1 and their economy's broken, it doesn't matter how attack sided EDG's comp is, at that point, you're, you've set yourself up for a very, very rough ending to Lotus. So that's important. Stabilizes the economy. Gets him into a decent spot. And they know that CNED can find those opportunities with the op. It's just about putting him in the right place. Trying to figure out where EDG might go next. And EDG okay, so with the two kills, there's two people that can't buy him. Classic after this. Fight again. One, two. And then EDG's money's really good, so... Another important round for foot. Handed over for free. Seen it again. Can make another go of things, isn't he? It's where he found success last time. Just peeking through B main. Cover going May out. catch nobody. <laughs> this whole setup's been a lot better for them, though. Does he hear this? Like info, Creates. info with him opping over towards B. Nobody though. Already crossed up onto the spot. Yeah, and it's back shoulder, to back now. Picks. This time, seen it is starting to hit. On fire with it. That's so sharp. At some point, you've got to imagine Kang Kang is going to feel like he wants to go for the ego battle. It might be too late in this half, but certainly on defense. Back towards the rubble with the TP here. There's a lot of players, though. Does he get that confirmation, Mr. Farlin? 
Okay, so they at least broke the trip over towards A. They're making a lot of pressure over towards A and trying to take a timing on C is at least what it felt like until the call came back that they want to go C. He wanted to just go close, see if there was any trips here. Obviously, they see the trip over towards A, so they're thinking that Cypher is like more of it towards A, B, I would imagine. So the trip might be good for one. Especially as the time gets low, and you would imagine this kill trip gets one. It's just if someone's in a position to get a kill from it. Orb up to respond. Fault line though. There's no Molly at defeat, so EDG going to be able to get into this one. Oh, okay, just discovered. It's all about whether or not you can get this plant down still. Simon. Air plants in the middle because everyone spams left, left right. Out any of that util, and there's nothing used as a response. No spam on the side of foot. No spam, I think, because they're worried about EDG pushing water. They actually like don't said, have the, the most the util. Smokes, they, they got one flash, one flash, okay. one stun. This one going to be dissipating though. Doesn't be worried about it. Retaking with the op, never quite ideal. Kang Kang, first casualty, Chicho's there. Wait, right that's a nice war. kill, though. He's frying, he's impressive trade. To try and get them into the site, and the last player left is Simon, overwhelmed. Oh, that was nice, man. Really um, Yesterday is doing so much on these rounds. Uh, I like their overall setup as well. We got we got cipher pressure everywhere. We got camera. We got Those trip. Rounds, trip. They might camera not look trip. like much, but with. How EDG's composition is a good retake so here. Yeah, that, that smoke to like get, get them, them out the Kung and like isolate. Side. Like this Any smoke is really cool. Done here is going to add up. That not, that's not the attack smoke. That is. These last two rounds, I like that helped them. Make all the difference between a 7-5 half or a 9-3. I mean, that's either a close half or a blowout. Yeah. Now Yeta has been feasting. He's got 12 kills currently. Anytime they've hit the C site, he's been good for it. Hitting shots while stunned on Kang Kang to open up the map twice and still then continuing to find success elsewhere. He's doing it all right now. As you mentioned, you know, the anchoring's good when he's handed the chance to do so, but it's uh, really the trading, I think, that's been most impressive. He's always following up off of, you know, Cena taking that first point of contact and dashing over the op, which you saw in that prior round. Very consistent. I'm interested how Foot are going to disrupt the ults that are about to come online here. Quick peek for those of you at home. Nobody I'm out. Simon yeah, I mean, the, the coach from EDG here, like he's, so especially twice in a row, they, they discover that trip on A, and then that trip over towards, really win a fight. well, um, so and I think they know EDG that the camera's going. over towards B, and it's definitely, or at least talking about the Cypher util, or at least talking about like the trip trip here, and then they're 100% talking about the fact that we've been off and over towards B all the time, and then he just moves around. Will be occurring. The question is who will be the winner now last time. And they're also just going back to keeping it simple, right? I think they're just doing their 4 1 with the one just watching behind being smoggy on clove. Going to counteract it. Paranoia looks like it's pre aimed just for the middle and center piece of the choke point. Fault line slows them down. TP through the back again. Up and around with the updraft. Seen it barely alive here still. Blinds it up inside the cloud burst. Was the play inside of it? Chicha running and gunning. That was nice Rain from Chicha. He had a good read the then. The double Cracks. smoke man. He was committing over to towards the left. And there is really no escape. But other captain Shot. will help him out. Shot from the side. Shot. Follow up again. He can't be denied. Oh, nice shots, bro. Yeah, cracks in this area apparently. Smashed them into dust. Can we have a look at the stage? Did Cena just jump into Cracks' chair for a moment? <laughs> yeah, dude, the flash shot was really good. Over. What are those two up shots? Coming out from a player that I've only ever seen with a rifle in hand. That's nasty. Craigs was completely stuck. The the door had not been pre-fired, so he was trying to use a classic to get through. Oh my god, that was He's sick, like, bro. Duh, 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 please, let me escape. <laughs> get me through the B. And he decided to turn, stand, and fight. But now EDG have those ults yeah, on So they decide yeah. to go the aggro over the towards A. Uh, that was a really good call from Foot in the timeout, though, same, to throw the op over and to go aggro A, knowing that they're probably going to go aggro back over towards A, going to what was working. Yeah, and he gets out of there. Uh, that was actually a very bold, like, it was a big call from the Foot coach to go for that. Grimes and Reddy finally let loose, Fallen drops the smoke. Seen it, anti synergy almost, but the blade storm. Oh, now boy. Oh, my God. He's flying, bro. He's above him. Well not save you, Kang Kang. Hunted Dude, the down. breach and Finally fade all together. Breach all to get info on if it. you should be. Or the fade all to get info on if you should breach all. Dude, this guy just falls down in front of him. What is this round? Everybody's position. 
into the 3v2 and with the fight isolated now to 2v2 in for a tree smoggy out wide hey, and nicely done from edg I, I think foot had a good recovery in the middle here though kill, um but yeah edg like with just a double ult here around, that's the, too hard finish. to hold the fatal into breach all he just got to gamble not play a sight here and they tried to get out uh, both happy and not happy so with the 21 months EG, a very good half uh, honestly it's a great question i have no idea bro who knows where this is going things like aliens though squids are nuts Or enough. They probably need to Trade win a pistol. In any condition, guaranteed, and get their, their attacks weird, so the no info um, initiator. I, I think EDD could have pretty good planning to make sure they can shut this down. Red Bull gives you wings. Let me just mute this one so I don't get wrecked. Um, yeah, I think. Long story short, I think Fud have to win pistol. It would be interesting because you would, you would imagine they can maybe get eight, but I still think they need a pistol. Yeah, to Jay, yeah, they're going to be lurking everywhere. Or, or they're just. The good news is EDG against the zero info initiator, they want to push aggro anyway. And they have to push aggro because they have no info sentinel. If they stay far back, they're just going to get lurked on. And, like, map control is going to cost them. So they want to fight anyway. So their game plan of how they want to play their comp works well against this comp anyway. So that's why I think Fud need a pistol. Gotta go aggro. Don't have to go crazy aggro. I'm just more talking, like, fight for C, fight for A, the usual stuff. At least one, one of them every single round. Mr. G2 game was it a slaughter? It, it got a little bit respectable towards the end, but it it kind of was, yeah. On this map. Yeah, thank you. I forgot to unmute. Absolutely. And EDG's composition, it does struggle on the defense because they can't occupy three sites at once. They don't have the Sentinel. They don't have the Viper. Um, now, in China, they left the C site very, very weak. I think now you're seeing them leave the A site weak on the pistol to avoid that anti strat that Foot would have done. Do Foot care? Are Foot <laughs> going for the C site? No, not at all. Oh, at but all you want to see the aggro, so they go for the A, B, pinch on the end up on defense. Here. Uh, and yesterday hears them, so he puts the cage down to play around with as well. It's a free plant, and they get over towards the site, and they don't use too much util. They still have omen flash. Try to stay alive. Yeah, I mean they got to realize that he's somewhere. The rest of his team cleared everywhere here. Huh? Maybe something to work with Dorkin. Opened wide. Molly's a Whoa, little bit Kang Kang wins that. Here. EDG are winning this one with a Hang massive Molly. player advantage. Mr. Fallen and seen it to do the most here, leaving it just down to fall in. And now overwhelmed at the back. <laughs> okay, double pistols, man. Scrappy. Nice pistols. That's a major pistol. They just won a lot of the jewels here. To be able to get. And they played it really nicely, but there were and so many spots there where a full player could plan have had for impact. Not finding anyone over towards B and C was really good though. And then also Ada Captain, another spot where Kankan probably should have died. He's vulnerable, swinging through, but Ada Captain can't get his weapon out in time. Foot letting that one slip a little, a fumble that they can't afford with only four rounds in the back. Yeah, I think they had to win that. EDG, this is perfect for them. It, Again, this was cool though, so it was like a three-person push here, and, and, and then just hands. the good reaction, Look right? The they pistol. see no one here, You're loving and there's yeah. basically yeah. five people in this box, Loving. and then they Flourish. go back, and they do two from B, and then three from here, clearing out like this bit fast, and then over towards site. But we'll make there's pressure here anyway, here. like if, if they don't push here, not gonna, Rico, maybe just they're not going to realize. Farm up some more, so that's the trouble with their own composition as well, you can't even rely too much on... The ultimates they've got available, Chichu. Paranoia flies forwards. A couple of shots fired out as well. He's going to be blind himself. He needs some help and backup. Has arrived in the form of Kang Kang, but he's swiftly dealt with. That was the rifle. Drop down, oh. Chichu, though. Still a problem. And Smoggy happy to deliver the death blow from My the side. Goodness. He had a J Classic in hand. 
It was enough to dismiss them, even just repping loud in the process, I guess, because they couldn't make it themselves. Damn. Weapons down over towards Rubble. If he had the spike, this would be a Where great situation going? to threaten that he was heading off elsewhere and go and try to pick one of those up, but like you said, where, where is he going? I wonder okay. if anyone's where holding down tab he from EDG. Here and go over towards a. He's just if someone's to holding down back. tab, they know. Of course, that picked that, that really up. important neural theft. Hey, listen, on the attack side, it actually can win you some really important rounds, especially when you're, you're playing against a no sentinel comp. He gets that down, he's going to figure out where the gaps are. Alert timings here, but nobody's going to keep watching. Yeah, just for the smoke. Okay, very nice, though. I think the question, um, they the were allowed two deaths. So what got is three. the neural theft going to do is. What is a round going to do at this point for foot? There's six behind now. Not only do they need this one, they need to then break the economy of EDG and start a spiral of their own. And foot's comp, while they've had quite a lot of success with it, and it's been good for them, it's not an alt snowball comp. It's not like yeah, you have very true. the lockdown and the show and the, good and the nightfall to be able to work with. So this one's still going to be scrappy, still going to be difficult for foot, even if... Yeah, they, they invest one, one person into it, that's all right. Early push back there on the Yedda Jake. Standard attack side here for foot, but you're right. Rifles in the hands. This is where you really need yeah. to get going if you are foot. You are EDG are just gambling the, the whole Yedda time. Jake. Need some support, need some help. The squeeze he said they need to go aggro. To the side. Nobody really watching for him, Smoggy. Please will get that trade. Felt like Yedoje was calling for help. Ada Captain came back and got countercalled, and Foot went into C instead. Yedoje strung out to dry, but Atter at least did a little bit of damage EG to them though by spamming. It doesn't matter if they're playing full retake every time, as if they have the entirety of the map control. I have the map control, Ada Captain. Needs to spot this I wonder how many came up on radar there. It looked like a lot. Yeah. You can't plan for mound when they're coming mound. They already have control of it, but we're kind of being caught. It's a little bit easier now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Real I would have been tempted to go to that spot there where they faces. just cleared. Utils going to be exchanged. After shocking through the choke as well. And right now what do they do? DDG just primed and ready. Without a kill. Finding it lacking that initiating power, I think, to even get themselves in. Already time ticking away from them with the spike and with the position it's placed in as well. There is no more chances to win this one out. They're looking to do that. Economical uh, damage. That's a good call. Possible. Save the Vandal. Everyone else tries to do a little bit of damage. Um, speaking of damage, I mean, they got two kills. It's going to be gun rebuys and one armor rebuy. It's not too bad at all. Important for EDG. They can keep rifles up so far, they've gone for 16. a CB split. At the moment, what we're EA seeing is EDG on the fence. leave one side completely open and pushing cool. heavily the other two. Uh, trying to condition. This idea that and they are always going to be This is how I this is how I think Clove can be played like more as well. But like I like what they're the doing. Right here, like the, the gamble here. the gamble of Go what they're doing the can be good. And play a post plant setup where you, you can have just you could even leave the else. the Clove on a site solo as well if need be. EDG just make it incredibly obvious of what they're trying to push and fight over. Foot's decision making is going to get that much more easier here. Can can up. Push him's way up fault line does catch. Wants a mound, he needs a little bit of help here. He's quite hard committed. They heard a TP, they think it's in the one way, but Farland's already crossed up. Foot at this point can tell it's not the same as the previous rounds. Prowler's coming out, A. Happy call here by nobody. Side by side with Simon. Aftershock's there, takes a good timing with it, right as the wall was going down, so Foot actually don't get any of that space, but Whoa. on the opposite side of the map, that's, that's a jump peak. Gone, take it out. I mean, that's through a smoke, surely. I think the smoke. Sure, but the decision's now made I mean, here. I guess it was there. Down to that 50 second mark, Chi Chu. Cuts it up onto the oh corner. Oh boy, Chi Chu, you're in trouble. Thank God the Omen flash hit four. Chichu, he can't play there. Repositions. This is a great flash from him. EDG is split up though, they can't hard anchor onto Speaking this. Speaking of a good Second flash, that hit both, I'm pretty back. sure. Rainy day, it's caught for foot. Trying to barrel their way through and over onto the seaside, but it made it quite That's obvious. That's a hard retake. Seconds now, EDG. Kinda wanna save, but you need to do damage to their recon. And cracks. It's not pushed back from that plant. Themselves into it, flash to at least get Chichu and playing inside. Cam up into his face, can land and adjust the shot in time. Cena dropping him, full control towards the back of the site. Need a miracle from EDG, you need mistakes from foot. 
just done into the back. There's no swing attempt off of the back of this here. Almost yeah. lining up for almost a good amount of, of damage as well. From nobody there, but foot once more. Right. Gonna walk away with another Giant round for foot. They um they win it the and board. EDG after eco. You're seeing the weaknesses of EDG's composition on the defense side. What's up, Yumpy? How we doing? Eat. I haven't eaten yet. Yeah. But they can't really Still pretty do early, too bro. Much. Uh, Not even eleven yet. Paranoia to try to get out of the really uncomfortable spot he's in. And that neural theft that you were poo-pooing earlier on <laughs> came through fairly handy, didn't it? It did help, yeah. It also gave them an amazing paranoia that knew where both players were and blinded both of them too. Footer back into this game. Cage trigger. Yeah, and this is how they... <laughs> that is real interesting. This is how they cover this up the fact that they have no uh, no info yeah, it's a initiator. They cage over towards the top and they put a camera and then it can just be like can multiple heights the because the cage go higher or lower. You have a camera, then you spot if anyone's aggro over towards C. They can do the one like over towards here on the back wall as well, but like they need to make sure this camera can't get shot easy. Whoa, nice shot, bro. Really good shot. Hey, everyone's doing some nice shots on this. We've got a free orb. We're going to get this. Use that one. Bro, so the that spike over to here. Breach this as well, yeah. We got the orb and we got the plant. We get the orb for the big buy round. If we want to talk about the odds just for a second while Smoggy has his as well, it's going to be very difficult for Smoggy to find good opportunities to use that. If he gets picked in a spot like this, even if it's rifles online, 5v5, he can't sprint at foot out through mouth. So he's kind of got to save it for retake scenarios. Yeah. And what we saw from him on the attack side is often... If things are going well, well enough that you would want to use the ult, uh, then you didn't need to use the ult. Kang Kang finally gets up in hand. The economy damage that Foot did early on, and the fact that they've been winning these rifle rounds, I mean, this fight show was nice. has stopped Kang Kang from getting that weapon that he's known for. He is a sniper at his heart. He's picking it up and playing over towards A. Yeah, but the amount of targets that are going to be afforded to him at Few and far between, it's only yet a Jane. He's not really going to be choosing to opt into that fight as well. The horns and the stun will push him away. Smoggy willing to disrespect control over uh, the team. Definitely cross again. fight a Tower little bit heavier with Clove in this pulse. Beautiful take away. You need to kill Smoggy in this spot. He's getting away with How is he alive? alive? Only four bullets left, but will he opt into using the ult to get back into the fight? Doesn't look likely. Two HP. What a win from HP. him after he's been playing so well this map. Yeah, real scrappy. Oh, they know he's there. Oh, he's he given away by the cage. Ran into the cage. In the smoke. The at this point here, but Foot are still in that driving seat despite the damage done. We've seen it in Ada, Captain. Oh, mm, they just got the sound cue off the cage, obviously. Nice and now. easy for them. There's Man a couple of low HPs, and that was one of them. So it's like a it's little bit of a hit that Foot will take. Stuck and committed. Extension now into the round, into the post plant. Paranoia is set up. Prowler as well. Oh, I'm on flash is good. Yeah, yet to Jake got you till dumped out on an island on his own. Trades. Damn, nicely done in the 4v3 retake. Shout out to Kang Kang here. I mean, at one point it was 3v5. Of course it was him. Kang Kang is so good. Getting the first kill here as well is really important. Following up off the back of his initiated utility and dodging that breach off. Yeah, the got completely stuck there. Not a great post plant setup either from foot, trying to play very heavy. I mean, they didn't really have it didn't really have time. It felt like to get into good positions. Yeah. Yesterday was just so isolated. As soon as the omen flash and prowler, defense looks like it works. What an amount! No one else could really bail him, but maybe someone needed to jump up here. Value earned, EDG. I don't know if there was a smoke or not Steadily to dodge that. Just a little bit here, and they still, of course, hold the advantage in terms of rounds. This time, adjusting and moving up that positioning. Ken Kang hopping over towards C wants to play in front of the Viper Orb. And the cage did not. Yeah, they actually managed the to side. spam the was broken. camera. Footer also jump peeking this at the start. Yeah, so that's a, it's a they do that jump really peek from the top of the boxes important win, that is, to be honest. Over the top and see if they now get no C. info over towards C. Dude, they kind of kind of give it's it up, right. though. They, they yeah, fade eye over, over towards day, deep, so they know that if you're only going to be doing that, if there's like two, three of you. Get your way and slip past into the this side is something that we haven't seen yet in terms of the Lux, and Bro gets two from here. Solo hold of the site. 
for EDG now. That lifeline is delivered, and this could be that 12th round that they were looking for. Yeah, this should be their 12th round. Like, Yetta J has to go and do everything. Not dead yet. He's back into the fray, back into the fight. Pressing forwards. That is absurd. Sees, though. The mo the molly behind men that the the, the, they couldn't trade it though. Yeah, it, it, I mean, first off, Atta does incredibly well to get the first kill. I get the idea of the res. You're trying to do the like, you're kind of trying to do the Yoru like spam me ping on the floor thing. Um, but the fact there's a molly here behind, no one can really follow it up. So it was like an instant decision of the res of Clove, but the the, the molly from Atta just stopped it. Stopped it fully. He's hunting it out. He's hearing. Yeah. But the question is, what are we able to catch him? This guy is going to be lightning fast, getting all the way away from them here in the sound cues. And Got to keep the up. Yeah, money's in the bin uh, after that. that. Two people wrecked. Absolutely maniacal from Smoggy <laughs> and nobody. The I mean, Atta just did so good. That Molly saves up everything. For a team that has otherwise been playing fairly well today. Yeah, who, who's year, actually meant to run through that and trade? supposed to trade this, right? And yeah, instead, exactly. nobody backs up and throws a seize. I mean, get on the same page, please, if you're going to be making a play like that. They're, oh. they're chuckling about it now, but this gap is lowered to three, and they're on an eco. A little bit of bite it's a pretty good eco, though. The the right three guns. Up, I know that everyone else doesn't have armor, but... As you said, Josh, the gap... It's narrowing. Odin spam away from Fallen just to cover the retreat. Seen it. Dash expended nice and early. I think the reason that this composition works for EDG, though, is that they have good enough players. Someone gets Toxins them around. And in a situation like this, yeah, the economy doesn't look good. But Foot are going to be cautious. They're going to be slow. And EDG are going to be taking nope. risks. Cam again? Yeah, did they spam the cam again? You will often see Thrifties converted in high-pressure moments like this. So every single time they can't get info over towards C or retake C. Hey, did you already try to set I'm up not sure EDG C. are doing the best to commit to a push deep ideas behind that. The they, they at least pick up the orb and uh, get free chill. Right into the back of the huh? side, and this oh, on right earth has nobody won that duel? Potentially cause some harm, but tell me they don't use no breach into this. Here from the foot players. They do got it just in case they needed it. For them. With a difficult task ahead. And the question of what they really want to commit into this one was Simon's alt in the back pocket. Do you save this one still with the gap closing? Swap around with a weaponry rifle now into the hands of Kang Kang. Smoggy holds the approach, but stab gliding forwards and attempt to play off of that util, but now the counter spam. How do you get the op out? And the counter play, how do you get the op out? It's hard committed, deep into the pit, Simon. Where's this flash landing, man? Flicks it up to the side as well, time is ticking away from it. Will collect at least the one kill, but a peak of the util is perfection. And Atta has this. And right from behind with the wrap around. The op will not survive uh, Maybe a time up before this fast fire round. I right, say fast fire round, big, two big fire round. rounds away from equalizing. That's the risk of taking a weapon like that. Heavily committed into an eco situation. You're unlikely to win. One player's coming in there without a weapon in hand. You don't want to use your big ultimate on Simon because you want to save that. This for round, future. yeah, it's the pretty same important. Same logic should apply to the op. So, all right, they don't have that to work with. Can they make the alt work for them? The gap closes to two. See, completely open. I mean, look at this. The defensive side has holes in it every single round. Insanely as well, this hard read. I don't know if it is a hard read, but foot. Just already making a move Yeah, the and I mean, they just do this. It, it looks like this is the only time when they go like super aggro over towards A, and the Prowler gives it up, and they're doing the AB push. And tries to play for his life. So last time, how they do they, ha yeah, how do they handle this? Didn't take any spawn or waterfall control. Doing it again. This time trying to play for Manny here. Oh, so many versus Jay, you absolute madman. On his own now. Omen. Okay, Omen gets the trade. Smoggy does blade. great. Now as the squeeze is coming in, rolling thunder at least to lead that pressure. Smoggy is ridiculous. Really good, man. Right through the doors. It just yeah, Fudder were kind of reacting a little bit wrong to this one. They need to maybe just play like heavier over towards sites and just hold to like waterfall. They, they keep trying to fight these areas, whereas they should be taking these areas. Rummaging and rumbling towards the site. This is just absolutely absurd for Fallen to deal with. Damage done. Dodging and weaving. Phantom in hand. Seen it last one. Hey, very left, nicely done. For much longer. Yeah, if we had to be super critical of what's going on. I don't on, understand how Fook can like, have seen that exact 
idea come out from EDG He's before, gonna say it. recognize it in the first 10 seconds of the round, and still have and decide that plan. to fight mound control. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's bonkers to me. Yeah. The door's gonna uh, get and, open, and they had the same thing on the pistol the round, right? Where like they know they're going fast behind, push and, and they and they, they and like it's nice Go from EDG. Like EDG, it's literally the exact same as the pistol. And instead, foot are getting caught both times, planting for mound and trying yes. to control that area. It is just the mid round letting exactly them down a little bit here, which is rare because the mid round is normally really good from foot. It's just their reaction. Point. Okay. Uh, it's annoying. The time out now from foot. I would love a midi map here. And I mean, so, so on the pistol, guys might just be saying the same stuff that I am. Yeah. On the pistol, they they go like um, CB default, you know, go, right? Go like push heavy, territory. sorry, into the spawns, and they reactively go A. And then in uh, in reaction to take map control, they do this and they pinch the closer area. And this and and then foot reactively to that need to take like spawn. And it happened exactly here where they lose BC push. They need to take Evan. They need to take waterfall and, and they just fight in the areas where they can get pinched. It happened on the pistol over towards A. It happened here. Like it's smart from EDG. It's really good. They have set protocols on if they don't see people over towards spawn and the map control that they can take. But every single time put a fighting either here or here and they just get pinched from this and and this and this. They've been winning about one in three, one in four defense rounds. Yeah, the reactions are just wrong from foot here, really. Um, but it's cool that EDG have good protocols on it. Nice. Um, all right, three, three chances. Three chances they at least go reach or out of them if you're looking at foot. Skilled enough to be able to do so. Seen it. Rips it away. Stun connecting though, and a bit of counter spam. And the is the spike even hand. able to get in? That's nice work. Damn, Spikes that's nice from him. Just a straight up spam. Really have no, no idea the spikes here, right? Or do they? Make some compromises. Yet a J open in this door. The paranoia swing. Right really good energy. recovery. Yeah, they did the C. This guy is they did the BC split back and to he them. He's gonna save the day, isn't he? Does Mr. Fallon get round the corner? The trail, right from behind. We'll Wait, that cage is everything. The cage is everything here wide. to get him out. That was nice. He's got to flip the side, and this time they do plan towards it. Yeah, now they're planting towards spawn. But Mr. Fallon doesn't feel confident about getting over there. He has a teleport. They've actually planted for spawn and playing waterfall, and no one's playing spawn. Deep Sea's close. Haunt as well. Wait, that's Smokes genius. Wait, that's genius. Chances. Nobody's primed and ready, and now the old let loose. This guy that's so that so chance. cool. Follow the trail, and you might be rewarded just with the map win. But as it fades away, classic in hand. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Damn, bro, that was sick. Though he gets rewarded for this. Smoke here. He tevers, that's so it will see finishes. anyone on the other side. And then he just Ridiculous looks for where the trails fashion. are going so he knows EDG who's close and where he's after spam and where they have to pre-aim. That's so sick. It could come from that is so, it so come cool, from man. Anywhere. I think the seas that he threw pulled Yedajay off the high ground. There's no way. <laughs> I think so. There's no way. Yedajay ended up being dragged down to the floor. Listen, that's an awful...